Safe. Safe is going to come on the show, a.k.a. my stalker. I haven't spoke to him in a while. Uh, Safe, welcome back to the show. Jesus. Um, what do you want to say? Oh, hey. look at that. Look at, hang on, let me see that hair. Let me see that. Look at that, bruv. Yes, man, yes. What's up? How are you? Good? I'm very well safe. What, what are you here to say? Well, I'm here to say about Arsenal for the first time, and I'd like to talk about Marco Latata. I'm sick and tired of watching Northside and Lee Gunner talking so negative about Atata. What Atata has achieved is incredible. No manager has achieved as well as Atata has achieved. If you look at the first team squad, it's one of the best squads Atata has built, in my opinion, and caught me from wrong, Terry. Do you agree that this squad is, is as good as the 1980? Forget about the bench, but let's talk about the first players, first team players. This, this Arsenal team is not as good as a double winning 1998 team. No, I disagree with you. Okay, are, are you telling me Mantinelli is as good as Petit? They no, play he's similar not. football, he's not as good as Petit. No, well, I, I disagree with you because I believe that this Arsenal team, if we gave Aitata another 600 million to build a Bench squad, Arsenal will be a fantastic team. They'll be as good as Man City and Liverpool. That's my personal opinion about Michael Atata. What mm-hmm. Atata has achieved is if you see him from, I think he came in November 2019, yeah. the points that he has achieved for, from 2019 to 2020, and the points he has achieved from 21, 21, 2020 to 21, from 21 to, to 22, 22 to 23. 23 to 24 has increased. Yeah. If you look at Manchester United manager, every time we had a good point, we qualified for the Champions League. The second season, our points has dropped. And you're telling me right now that if we give Achacha right now, yeah, another 600 million to build a bench squad, a decent bench squad, a play, players that come in from, can come from the bench and can change the game or, or can score goals. Atta, Arsenal cannot win the Premier League. He has a first team squad. He he almost won the league by one point. Tell me which other managers has built a decent team like Michael Atata has done. I'm well, look, there's been, look there's, been, there's been lots of teams that have built teams better. Obviously, this Man City team, the, the Liverpool team that's won Premier League. There's been, you know, most of the teams that have won the EPL have been better than this Arsenal team. Well, I mean, been... no, not like Atata. I mean, Pep Guardiola can't build a team. Pep Guardiola has came in from level five. A team has already been built. He just added two or three players. But Ateta has started from the scrap. And he has built a base, made a foundation to a fantastic, one of the best Arsenal teams you have seen in the history. Believe me, I mean, you're telling me Saka, Saka is one of the best right-wingers players in the world. I mean, put it this way. If, if Arsenal decided to sell Saka, his next move will be to Real Madrid. Mm. What do you think? Do you agree with me? I mean, Zach is very, very, very talented. Whether he goes to Real Madrid or not re- remains to be seen. Uh, when it comes to Arsenal's transfer window, they're linked to uh, Osiman, they're linked to Benjamin Sesko. Which of the two would you sign? I'll sign both. I will literally sign both because Arsenal, what Arsenal need, they need plan B and plan C. And for me, Arsenal in the next 12 months to 24 months, they would win the Premier League and the Champions League. And Terry, I'm sick and tired of Lee Ghana and Northside are trying to avoid me because I'm calling them out here, especially Lee Ghana. Oh, I don't want to talk to Safe. He doesn't, he doesn't like Safe at all. He doesn't even know me. I, and he went just like a little girl. I know his name starts with LG. So LG means little girl winging all the time. <laughs> it's true, doesn't it? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, like I, I just don't understand why Lee, Lee Gunn is so negative about Atata. Can I mean, he not I mean, see? My, what my he question, to, my question to you is, why does it matter to you that Lee Gunner is negative? What, 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 what how does it change your life? It changes my life because every time I watch him, he's always in high rate, always angry. If you don't, again, listen. I respect you know, watch whatever you want to watch in this world, absolutely. <laughs> but why would you watch? Why would you watch something you don't like? Because I. Because um, I want to say his opinion in football debate. I love different types of opinion. And when I come on A and I say, look, I want to challenge you on Arteta, 
He says, no, I don't want to save you're not supposed to challenge yeah, it, because, I think he doesn't know anything about I think, Arsenal. I, say, I think sometimes save is because you're a bit weird. I'm not weird. Uh, now, you listen, we all know you used to hide outside my place of work. You send nope. me pictures outside Barclays. I've never done You used this. to send me pictures of, of naked women saying we should double team them. It. You did all these very strange things. I never you done it. It was always like really muscly women. You did all these things safe. And yes, that's a Lee, joke, but I didn't do this to you. I mean, it's not a joke to stand outside my, my place of I work. I did not stand outside your workplace. You okay. definitely sent me know, photos. I did not know what Jenny, you are you inside? You sent me all those things, bro. Listen, safe, always a pleasure. Uh, to speak with you, my friend, uh, and we'll chat again soon. Take Arsenal care. Arsenal would win the league next season and the Champions Take League. Care. Big up, Arteta. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> uh, he safe, safe, safe is a character. He is a yeah. He is. A, you know, did you stalk me, Gen- genuinely? He used to send me pictures. Gun. I'm a- I'm outside the building, Terry, um, and. Yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, he's, he's a strange guy. Uh, next on the show, we've got King. King is with us. Who just King. King? King is with us. Who just King? Yeah. Oh, shut down whatever you're listening to me on. Sorry, mate. To me on. And I will come back to you in a minute. We're going to go to, uh, I think it's pronounced Layy. Layy, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm very well. Who do you, who do you support, mate? I'm an Arsenal fan. Arsenal. <laughs> talk to me. Obviously, transfers. You're linked to Cisco. There's talk today from Italy that uh, Osiman's sort of team are expecting a bid from you. Who would you buy? Obviously, Cisco. So, um, first of all, for um, long time lurker, first time on the show. But, um, yeah, Cisco. I mean, Osiman, we're talking about the price that they are quoting for this guy over 100 million pounds or something to that effect for me like i'm not i'm not too sold on him but you know i've watched um your shows uh, for a long time and uh and over the past couple of weeks i've seen the usual suspects the usual you know come on your show and talk about how this person is not good or that person is not good like if you want to win you have to do x y or z I feel like everybody's everybody's missing a particular point about whether or not Harvard can actually get better next year. <laughs> it's like we are making this assumption that it's going to stay stagnant and it can't even get better. Therefore, you know, you can it, it can kind of like expand your mind as to what kind of other players you can get you can look in the market for. Because if the team believes that it can, you know, get 20% better next year. I mean, we are talking about a very good player. Mm. When, when you compare that to, you know, how, how he's performed this season, especially given the fact that he will have had more time to bed in, you know, he's more comfortable, you know, he, he gets more used to the players around him and the, and, and the role that he's, he's asked to play. Uh, I think he can get a little better next year, 20, 30% better. What that means is you can now kind of like, quote unquote, gamble with a Sesco or whatever the case may be, and also invest whatever money in key positions. I think the midfield needs reinforcement big time. Like if you're going to go big this summer, I, like I, I I believe it's got to be in the midfield, not not really in the forward area, quite frankly. Listen, I, I hear you, and I think that everyone's entitled to their opinion. I think some people genuinely feel you need a prolific top-class striker. I think that there are others, and I think you can tell the difference between them and some people that will consistently ask for things they know Arsenal are not going to do, yeah. just so they can say, "That's what we should have done." It's almost, it's almost that you kind of you see them as preseason starts when they're going to go right. What are we not going to do? Like, let me, let me, let me this is, I, I wouldn't be surprised. They sit in a room together or in a group chat and go, right, what are we not going to do? We're probably not going to buy a backup goalkeeper. So let's create a narrative there. Do you remember at the start of last season, they, a lot of Arsenal fans created that narrative that the manager was an idiot because he was breaking up the best centre-back partnership in the Premier League because he had Gabriel start the first few games on the bench yeah. and Ben White went in the middle and I think Partey was at right back. And everybody else was like, it's probably a, like a match fitness issue here. That's all it is. And I think that's the problem with this. I, it's not that people are wrong to not want Oshiman. That's that. And it's, it's the, 
it's almost the joy they take out of it. They pretend they're angry, but you can see through the veil. And it's like, I think you're kind of happy because it gives you some fr- fuel to throw on the fire. Maybe I'm off. I don't know. But it's how no, it feels to me. I totally agree. I feel like, you know, the outrage machine is out there. Like people are waiting, waiting to to find the next thing to, to just get mad about. If If we really think about it, like if you really think about it, it is highly unlikely that Arsenal is going to buy Austin. Uh, to me, it just doesn't fit an, an Ateta player. Maybe it would. I don't know. It just doesn't fit that mode in terms of what we've seen before. If you look at all of the players, especially the players that they spent big money on, these are folks that could play in one, two, I mean, more than one position. I don't mm-hmm. know where else Arsenal can play besides that. Now, now, people are saying we need a number nine. I, I, yes, we need a number nine. But I don't believe we need a 20, 30. I mean, you know, people say 30 goal a season player. Who is out there that will score 30 goals? Like, I want somebody to give me a name. Even when, when um, Haaland was coming, I don't know that we all thought he would score 30 goals. Did we think he would score 30 goals? Like, I, I remember on your show, people were coming in saying, Darwin Nunes was going to, you know, perform better. And, you know, and after the community shield two seasons ago, if you remember when Liverpool won, people yeah. thought, Nunez was gonna, you know, was gonna be wipe, better. was gonna wipe the floor. Yeah, no, I listen, I, I totally agree. I think Benjamin Sesco, by the way, is quality. I really do. I yes, he's young, but I sort of feel like he's on the edge of being ready to absolutely explode. And if you pick him up for 45 million and then bolster the midfield and bolster the attack with additional quality, again, I think Arsenal have the ability to go to a state again, you're already at a very high level. I think you've got the ability to break through that barrier and go to the next one. Oh, again, on paper, we haven't seen any of these players kick a ball together. Um, we, you know, we can always be wrong, but just the gut feeling. Benjamin Sesco is a player I've watched for the last three years. I think he's tremendously talented, and I'm a, I'm a little bit jealous that you're all looking at him, really. In terms of the midfield you mentioned, where would you like to see Ars- who would you like to see Arsenal go for in the midfield? So, I really love um, Amadou Anana. Like, you know, like if you watch him in that last game that we played against Everton, he, he fits that kind of player that Ateta likes. He's six four, six five. He's super, super press resistant. I know a lot of people don't really rate him as much, but he's a very good tactical ball player. And I can see him and Rice kind of like go back and forth between the six and eight role. So, you know, people talking about Bruno Gimaraes, and I, I don't think we're going to go for Bruno. Like, I, I don't think so. I think Onana is, is, is uh, I, I, I love that player. So, I, I, yeah, that is one person that I, I really wish we can go for. Outside of that, obviously, Frankie De Jong. Um, and if we, if we can get, if we can get, like, if I'm going to invest a lot of money, say I have 200 million to, to buy players this summer, I'm looking for two quality midfield, Frankie and Amadou Onana, you know, and then maybe Pate will go and obviously we'll keep in um, Jorginho. That, I think that is a good depth right there. And then, you know, you can find, I mean, we know Timba is coming back for the left. That hopefully he stays, he stays healthy all season. And then mm-hmm. in, that for, in that forward line, I saw something today about, about Rafinha or, you know, something to that effect. Like, you know, if we get Sesco in, then what that means is, you know, Jesus and some of these other guys can kind of like switch back and forth in that forward line. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't feel like there is, yes, we need like a, you know, some sort of a, a statement um, player, this this this, uh, this I window, mean, but I think Benjamin, it's a midfield. If you had Benjamin, Benjamin Sesco coming on this season just gone instead of Inketia, think about all those games he came on when you needed a goal to win. Yeah. I think there's far more chance you pick up two, three, four, five more points him coming off the bench than Eddie and Ket here. And that, that's why I don't necessarily think you have to go for that sort of quote unquote 27 year old ready made 180 million pound striker. I think someone like Benjamin Sesco can give you more than enough to go to that next level and win major trophies. Great call, my friend. Uh, definitely phone in again. Uh, really, really good. Top man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next on the show, I'm going to uh, Mr. Krishna. I think he's here with us.